There was a time when protection against smoke and other contaminants meant soaking your beard in water and holding it in your mouth. But for almost two centuries, scientists have been improving devices that provide respiratory protection. Personnel who work in hazardous atmospheres as well as emergency responders who may be exposed to respiratory hazards without warning, must be shielded from contaminants so that their exposure is below recommended safe levels. This protection may be achieved by engineering controls, such as mechanical ventilation, by enclosure of hazardous atmospheres, or by use of approved respiratory equipment. This program is called Breathing Apparatus. It is designed to provide training and assistance to personnel who may be called upon to use respiratory protective equipment in the workplace or during emergency response. The program will cover respiratory hazards, the types of breathing apparatus and their components, safety features, capabilities, and limitations the operation of breathing apparatus, proper techniques for its use, inspection procedures, and emergency operations will be demonstrated. The respiratory hazard with which firefighters are most concerned is smoke. 